David, it's so good to see you on yeah. board the yeah, cruise. So what, what is your experience? Have you ever experienced uh, you know, an event, uh, uh, a client appreciation event like this? Um, no, not like this, I would say. What, what makes it stand out from everything else that you've ever been to? Um, well, I guess a bunch of things. One, it was, um, I think it was like a well thought out event. Um, you guys picked it on the night of the fireworks and it's a cruise with a nice free dinner. So um, I don't really think, well, pretty good for a, a, a client appreciation night, I would say. Awesome. Yeah. Now, David, have you ever had any other experiences working with other realtors in the past? Um, me personally, no, I have not. So okay. Gary was like my first. Experience. He was your very first. And yeah. how did you discover Gary? What made you decide to go with him? Um, so I knew I knew Gary through church, and uh, I saw I met him like a long time ago when I was in high school. He was actually my Sunday school teacher. I see. Okay. And then uh, yeah, so we always kept in touch. And when he started out as a realtor, like when I finally came to looking for a place, I naturally went with Gary. What, what stood out, you know, uh, from the experience? I think like Gary's like key strength was with me was that he was really patient because I was really indecisive when I was looking for a place. Like I wanted like the the perfect place where I could get at the price that I wanted. Yes. And um, it ultimately took a, a year of yes. looking and like going to all these places. And I kind of felt bad for him because it almost felt like he was wasting his time at points. But like I'm glad Gary never pressured me or like kind of he never gave me that feeling where he was pushing me to buy something that I didn't want. So you, you found a place eventually after a year. What, yeah. what is it like? Did he save you some money? Yeah, like I was really happy, especially with the price. I was really happy. So, uh, like, I, I, my mom must have been a hard client to, to work with in general. Like, I was I was young, and uh, I asked Gary to lowball every single person we went to. Right. Um, so he made the offers that I would probably be too shy to, too embarrassed to. To, to make offers for and um, yeah so he followed through on every single place if I liked it mildly he um, he gave them a price which was usually quite a bit lower than what they were asking for so to the viewers watching this video right now <laughs> you know for someone who's a first-time homeowner uh, sorry home, first-time home buyer yeah what would you say to them if they're considering or looking for a realtor what would you say about Gary to them well I think for a lot of people looking for a realtor um, you always hear about these like kind of sleazy people who are just there out to get your money and uh, I would say Gary is someone who's really patient and he's not someone that will push you into doing something that you don't want just to make like a sale so I think that's something that a lot of people want mm -hmm. and uh, even though I bought my place like almost five years ago right. um, Gary's kept in touch with me and he's made the effort to see how I'm doing and if, if the place is still good or just you know just to talk so I think it's wow. a yeah, it's so a that, really good from thing. From a customer service point of view, that, that's above and beyond. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. Well, David, thank you so very much for your testimony. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Please go ahead and enjoy the rest of the cruise Thanks. and the fireworks as well. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. Tell me what you liked about it. Comment below. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. And if you want to learn more about real estate, click the videos over here.